I have made a grave mistake. You see, last Friday, I decided to join a server, and I decided to stream it. And, uh, if you look around, this wasn't all here two days ago. You see, we we, we have a few members of this town. I, I started a town, and we have a few people. We, <laughs> we have at least a few people here. And you see, I have... I have a little secret. I want to be the richest. I know, I know, it might be a little bit lame, but listen, there is a bell top on this server, there is a currency, and if I'm not in the top 10 above everybody else within Ducktown, I don't know what I'm gonna do with myself. So while all of my loyal followers are up here building their islands, building their houses, I am going to be here, grinding. Because with an economy, there are things that you can buy and sell, one of those things being sugarcane. I am so sorry, Optifine does not like me. Sugarcane. There are other things like wheat and uh, mush. Why are mushrooms here? You can sell bones, arrows. You know, there there are a few other things, but it's really not that much. You see, on most servers with an economy, there's almost always a way to automate your income. But in beta Minecraft, the closest you're going to get is a skeleton farm. Which, needless to say, it is not the most reliable thing. Another thing you should note about beta... Hoppers aren't a thing. I don't know where the hoppers are. They're not here yet, but uh, it's very unfortunate. So even if you did automate the collection process and make it fully AFKable, you can only fill up an inventory full, and then there's no other way to collect. All of this to say, I'm going to be grinding sugarcane for a very, very long time. Also, I can be at the top of the leaderboard for a server that hosts a 10-year-old version of the game. Are you questioning your existence? Because I know I am. Anyways, this is where I started my grind. It works pretty well, you get quite a bit of sugarcane, but it has its flaws, alright? This is a community farm, and if you know anything about community farms, they, they just, they have their flaws. First off, and most importantly, this right here loses you a lot of sugarcane. It's all going into the water. And I know what you're thinking, this is an easy fix, why don't you just do it? And the main reason is I need to grind in private. If people see me out here all day long grinding sugarcane, they're gonna know what's up, and somebody's gonna start competing. And a little competition isn't bad. But I'm scared. I'm scared of what these people can do. These This this town was built in like a day, bro. So I made this. My own private sugarcane farm. Equipped with lighting, fences, slabs. It's perfect. It's a perfect sugarcane farm. Except it's not. It's not good enough. We need more sugarcane. You see, this farm, while it is fantastic, it only yields me about 48 stacks of sugarcane. Okay, maybe just slightly less than 48 stacks. Which, don't get me wrong, that is quite a bit. Because if you come to the shop, you'll see that sugarcane sells for 70 cents. And that's only for half a stack. So if we do some quick maths, we realize that we are earning about $67 per harvest. Not too shabby, until you realize that you can only harvest about once a day. So ultimately, we're going to need a bigger farm. So I have taken some time between clips, and I have acquired a few items. A lot of dirt, a lot of wood, and a lot of diamonds. I realized recently that there's a player-run mall, and let me tell you, they have all sorts of goodies. I'm pretty sure I bought them out of everything. All of their armor is gone. Diamonds are no longer existent. And essentially, I bought everything I need to be successful. So the only thing left to do is find a spot where I'm going to build my new farm. And fortunately, this server has one amazing command, slash wild, where you basically get randomly teleported anywhere. I mean, I just teleported 50,000 blocks out. Now all we gotta do is find a nice big ocean. I would use this one, but I think I think the ice might be an issue, so I'm not gonna use it. Okay, I think we found a good one. I think this is going to work really, really well. Now all we gotta do is set a new home, that way we can teleport here every time we need it. Okay, so I brought a bunch of my items out here, and I think we're good to go. I think all we gotta do is just start placing a ton of dirt, and we're kind of just gonna go in rows of two. And honestly, I haven't done the math. I don't know exactly how many rows I need or how far they need to go. But let's just say there's going to be a ton of sugar cane. Progress has been made. I went ahead last night and I, I placed all of the dirt. And then throughout the day, I've been kind of going back and forth between my other sugarcane and this one. Because even with all that wood I bought, I still needed money. So fortunately, we do have this sugarcane farm. And I've basically just been grinding it here and there for money. 
And also, Thick Flex, Ava made me a Gengar pixel art, which is so cool. So I gotta say, each time I turn the corner here, it gives me a little bit more motivation. Now there's still a lot to be done here before we call this farm complete, so I want to show you a basic little outline of what needs to be done. And there you go. And I'm sorry, this looks really bad, it's really grainy. But essentially, we have a line right here, and it works out perfectly to where the glowstone is spaced five blocks apart, and yeah, it's, it's on both ends. We gotta keep things symmetrical so we have our sanity. But anyways, I'm going to finish up with this. I will catch you guys once it's all done. So I'm going to do one of these little swirly things, and yeah, and there it is. The farm is all done. This place took me like way longer than I'd like to admit. I think between all the glowstone, the wool, the slabs, and then all of the sugarcane, this was about three hours. I know that sounds absurd, but it's beta Minecraft, okay? Th th this stuff takes time. But I can confidently say that one of the issues with the other farm is no longer present in this one. By the time we finish harvesting all of this sugarcane, we have at least like 5 to 10 rows that are already fully grown back. So in theory, we could just harvest sugarcane forever, forever and ever, and just go sell it over and over. So I know you're probably curious about the farm, how big it is, exactly how many sugarcane is in here, and this is what we're looking at. We've got 31 rows. In each row, we have 218 sugarcane. Now that is obviously just the source block, so we're going down 109 blocks, and we have 2 sugarcane in each one, so we got 218. And ultimately, if we do a full harvest, we have 13,516. If you divide that by 64, you get 211, times it by 1.4, and then you get approximately 295. Now, if you think about it, $295 for this whole place, that's really not that much. And if we consider the fact that we're not going to be picking up every single sugarcane each harvest, ultimately, we're going to need to harvest around 100 times. Now, Baltop hasn't moved too much in the past few days while I've been making this but we're really aiming for about 25,000. I think that'll give us a- oh my god, there's a creeper. I think that'll give us a nice clean number and it should put us above everybody else within Ducktown. The only thing is, we're not even close to that. Like, we're at, we're like 2,000. So let's do a little bit more math. I'm gonna go ahead and run through this thing one time, do a full harvest, and I'm gonna time myself, so wish me luck. I'm finally done. I'm finally done. It was 23 minutes. That was way longer than I expected. Okay, I sold all my sugar cane. We're back here now. I started with 2343. Let's check our balance. We're at 2638. So the math actually worked out perfectly. As expected over here, we made $295. The only downside is it just took me 23 minutes. And with uh and with 75 harvests remaining, do you see this figure? Do you see this fi- I'm not a maniac, okay? I know I need a lot of sugarcane, but do you see this figure? Please. Please give me motivation. I need motivation. Uh Alright, listen. I might have had a slight oversight. Back in the early days of this idea, I easily could have calculated how much time this would have taken me. You know, it's pretty- it's pretty simple math. You just fill up your inventory, you go sell it, see how much money you get, and then you calculate the time that it'll take you to get more money. But I didn't do that. Because I'm I'm just a genius like that. I said bigger farm, more money, bigger farm, more money, it makes sense. Who cares about the time it takes? I'm regretting my life decisions. Fortunately for me though, I've spent a lot of time in this server in the past few days. Maybe a little bit too much time. I really don't want to talk about it. But in that time, there's one thing that never fails to stop. The chat. There are a lot of things that go on in this chat. A lot of things get revealed in here. And one thing that was revealed to me is that I have competition. You see, initially I was under the impression that automatic farms, they're not allowed here. You see, when you join the server, there is a lovely little tutorial area. Man, do you think I look at tutorials? Do you think I look at the rules? I hate to admit it, but I don't- I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, I shouldn't admit that. But naturally, naturally, whenever I first joined the server, I did one of these. I did one of those, I just went to spawn, and uh, immediately I started trying to bully some kid, but we're not going to talk about that either. So after a while, I get curious, and I try to go to the server website. Because multiple times in the chat, there was mention of the rules being on the website. What do you mean it's not secure? Okay, so long story short, I didn't read the rules. I thought automatic farms weren't allowed. So when I see some dude asking for a bunch of iron and redstone in the chat, I already know what's going on. I know this dude's about to make an automatic farm. And so like anybody else would ever do, I bought all the iron. 
and all the redstone. I bought all of it, because why wouldn't I? Every last bit of iron and redstone I could get my hands on from the player market, I bought it, because, because I didn't want somebody else having access to it. And this would prove to be a good idea, because soon enough, the competition would come running, and they needed iron. So I did it. I sold them some iron, and, and I got myself a new a new handy warp. I the I found their farm, and with this farm, I have uh, I I I decided to actually finally find a way to look at the rules. And of course, automatic farms aren't allowed. But this right here, it's not an automatic farm. It has a button, therefore making it semi-automatic. All I had to do was add a button. Are you serious, bro? You're telling me I could have been farming with a button this whole freaking time?